this is gonna be tough. So in today's video, I wanna talk about a pretty, uh, pretty touchy, pretty emotional subject. As we're all seeing here recently that um, Lincoln Park, if you were a big fan of Lincoln Park, I'm a little bit older, so I grew up with Lincoln Park. Um, even some of the younger generation grew up listening to and knowing who Lincoln Park was, probably up until you know the untimely passing of Chester Bennington, uh, the one of the lead men of Chester. Uh, excuse me, getting a little emotional here. One of the lead vocals of uh, Lincoln Park. <clears throat> I know it shocked a lot of us when uh, we heard the passing of Chester, and uh, we weren't really sure what the what the future fate of Lincoln Park was going to be. And at that time, I was. I'm sure a lot of us were thinking that, you know, was that really going to be the end of Lincoln Park? And I'm sure the, the thought bounced around in most of our heads on whether or not they would even try to put someone else in that place. And would they even be so bold as to do that? And as I've got some mixed emotions about this today, I'm sure a lot of you do too. As we see that they brought in a, a front man, another front man, I say a woman, she's actually a woman. Her name is, uh, I think Emily Armstrong is her name. And honestly, I didn't know much about her until now, but I've seen a few of the clips with her singing um, some of the vocals. <clears throat> and although I love it, but also hate it. Because obviously after Chester's passing, a lot of us had a void in us uh, from the band Lincoln Park and growing up to it and having that music resonate with us. And now Chester no longer being there, we're now seeing someone in that place. Me personally, I would love to see what she could bring on her own and if she can, bring some new material that is comparable to that <clears throat> <clears throat> but there also may be some aspects and some people may feel that maybe she's trying to you know recreate that legacy or maybe not she's trying to I don't I don't know what I'm saying here but it, I had mixed emotions when I seen it I loved it I hated it um, losing my train of thought here thinking about all this it's a lot it's a lot to process right now it is and i'm sure if a lot of you are seeing it um you may have the same reaction as i did as i'm like this is cool i can't look away but what did i just watch what did i just see what is going on i mean obviously you see what's going on but in your mind you're like what is what is going on what is happening here and i get it if you're a band like lincoln park you probably want to keep going and as a fan as a follower we'd want to see them keep going as well Maybe they're making the right move. Maybe they are. It's not the process. And I feel like I could talk about some of this. I was actually fortunate enough to meet Chester around... I don't remember the exact date. I think it was around the beginning of 2008. I can't remember. I actually lived in California at the time. And I was with a smaller agency that reached out to some people that were part of that agency and said that they needed some people to go and help out with the music video. And although we did, they didn't tell us who it was going to be for, but as we get to the studio and meet with our, I guess our contact that said that we were going to be helping with a, a music video, you know, for Lincoln Park. And at that point I got excited because I'm like, yeah, I love Lincoln Park. This is great. You know, I get to participate in a music video and get, maybe get to meet someone. Um, but it was the music video for Shadow of the Day that I participated in back then when they filmed it, I think it was there at Paramount Studio. I think it was on Sunset Boulevard, I think back then. I think that's where it was at. If I, if I remember, I was back around 2008, so it was quite a while ago. But I remember the only person we ended up seeing was Chester and the other, I cannot remember the guy's name for the life of me. The, the Chinese guy, I can't remember his name. The one that's a wizard on the, on the keys and all that, that guy. He was there, I didn't meet him, but we met Chester. He came out, he was in his trailer. He was. He liked his private time. He liked to be alone sometimes, but there were times where he did come out and he did socialize. He did talk to us a little bit. We could tell that he appreciated his alone time. He was in his camper trailer in between takes playing playing Guitar Hero. It was pretty cool. He came out and talked to us for a little bit, occasionally here and there during takes, during between takes and all that. So, but he still seemed like a, you know, even then he seemed like a well-rounded guy with basic problems like we all have. But I don't want to get too much into that. But yeah, that was my first and only time ever getting to meet Chester. So it kind of kind of hit hit a little hard when I heard of his passing. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about this, guys. What do you think? Let's, let's get some discussion going. Let's talk about this. Lincoln Park. Emily Armstrong. The new front, front woman for Lincoln Park. 